Mr. Gene Jones. How many of you have actually watched a game show on television? Yeah. Okay, and how many of you said, you know, I could have won some money. I could have answered that question. Yeah. You're, you're playing for the thrill of victory, which, um, if I'm not mistaken, was on a TV show once. Yeah. yeah. Which one? Wine Road to Sports, our first winner. Here she goes. Give her a round of applause. The one thing about this game is it's called Give Me a Hint because if you don't know the answer, you can yell, Give Me a Hint, and I got to give you a hint. So let's practice one time. Can everybody say, Give Me a Hint? Give me a hint. Okay, I think you're ready to play. Tim Tebow kind of interests me because he had a dog. And when he was playing for the Denver Broncos, the dog's name was Bronco. But he decided since he's now playing for the Jets, that's the wrong name for the dog. What did he rename his dog? I got it, Bronx. Well, Bronx is right, give me a There you go. Who invented the cultured pearl? Mickey Mono is the right answer. Who is the bass player in the cream? Got it. Yes. Jack Bruce. Jack Bruce is correct. What was the name of the horse in Toy Story? I got it. Yes. Bullseye. Bullseye is right. Hey, what's a good subject for you, ma'am? Ooh, movies. movies, okay. <laughs> Old time or new, what do you like? Mm, new, uh, newish. Oh, okay. <laughs> newish, is that a new religion or something? <laughs> uh, so what is the biggest grossing movie of all times? Uh, Avatar. Uh, Avatar. Uh, Avatar. Avatar is the right answer. Uh, the biggest selling single song for a long time was White Christmas. What movie did it appear in? Yes. Holiday Inn is correct. Valerie, where's the guy? Who is Heidi Klum getting divorced from? Still. Now, why is it when I ask who's married to who, only two people know if I ask who's divorcing who, everybody knows. So that leads me to one of my favorite subjects, which is celebrity divorces. You like celebrity divorces. He likes unhappy people. Anyway. Who, what celebrity has been divorced the most times in history, or married the most times in history? I got it. Yeah. Elizabeth Taylor. No. I got it. Not got Elizabeth it. Taylor, yes. I heard it over here. Okay. Yes. Zsa Zsa Gabor? Zsa Zsa Gabor. Zsa Gabor actually had a great quote about marriage. She said, I'm a great housekeeper, darling, because every time I leave a man, I keep his house. <laughs> But in the 70s, what group had the most number one hits? I got it. What? The Bee Gees. The Bee Gees is right. What's a good subject for you, sir? Science. Science. I like it. This is one of my favorite. I heard the <laughs> Science is okay. If we want to take another planet that is not habitable for human life, and we want to change it so it becomes habitable, what is that process called? Got it. Terraforming. Terraforming is right. <laughs> you know what he's thinking? I went to college for four years and finally made a buck off. <laughs> what kind of glass are they using to make cell phones with the hard, really hard glass? So name to that glass. Yeah. Gorilla glass is right. There you go. And who flew too close to the sun in mythology? Yes. Icarus is right. What theme song do they play for Mariano? I got it. Yes. Sandman. Sandman. Now, what other player started using that music and caused the controversy? I got it. Got it. Billy, yeah. Wagner. Billy Wagner is the right answer. If you play in golf and you're in a tournament, everybody plays at the same time on different holes. What is that called? Shotgun. So, so who did the song Shotgun? Got it. Yes. And the All-Stars. All yeah. What was the most downloaded song of 2010? I'll give you a hint. Did anyone come from like Long Island today? Yeah. How did you come in on the... Uh, hey, Soul Sister by train. Yeah. That's how the hints work, folks. You gotta be thinking crossways. Anybody been watching the Geico commercials lately? Okay, good. They got the gecko, right? Yeah. They also have a pig now that goes, wee! What's the pig's name? I got it. Yes. Max. Maxwell is right. Yeah. I 
I'll try and tie that into an old to an older time music question. Okay, Maxwell had what in a Beatles song? Silver, Silver, Silver Hammer. Silver Hammer. Silver Hammer. Silver Hammer. John Lennon had a group. What was the name of the group before it was the Beatles? Yes. The Quarry Man is right. And who was the original drummer of the Beatles? Peter Best. Peter Best is right. You gotta give Peter Best credit. He knew when to get out of a bad thing, right? Let's get to the Kardashians, everybody. Kim Kardashian just broke up with a basketball player. Who was he? I got it. Yes. Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys is right. There you go. She's now with what musician? Yes. Kanye West is right. I'm going to give you a couple of movies. The first two words or one word. Finish the title. Say, I got it if you know. Okay, Cloudy. I got it. I got it. Yeah. With a chance of meatballs. With a chance of meatballs. I just love that title. What is the biggest hit song in Mamma Mia? Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen is right. <laughs> it's Neil's turn to pick a subject, everybody. <laughs> All the single guys, she's available. <laughs> this is the time when we go up to $2 a question. <laughs> on the $2 bill? I got it. Yes. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is right. When Red Fox was talking to his ex-wife who was dead, he'd say, I'm coming. I got it. Yeah. Wheezy. No. Yeah. Elizabeth. Wheezy. Can anybody tell me where Maxwell Smart went when he had a big secret? Got it. Got it. Under the door. No. Got it. Got it. The call of silence is the right answer. Literature. Oh, okay. Uh, Who wrote The World is Flat? Easy one. I got it. Yeah. Thomas Friedman. Thomas Friedman is right. Uh, and who wrote The Jungle? I got it. Nothing to say fast. Alright, this table's in the game, folks. Boy, she knows it. Yeah. What an animal. Oh, the Wolverine. The Wolverine! I don't know if we get out of that one. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt had a dog. Yes. Fowler is right! Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the Jetsons dog? Astro! Yeah. Astro is right. There you go. And what's the name of the dog on Full House? I got it. Yes. Wheezy. What is that? What's the name of Wheezy? Did you like have a breathing condition as a child? Would you tell air goes some? I think therefore I am by Descartes. Very good. He was actually in the group Mothers of Invention. Got it. Yes. Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa. Now, Frank Zappa named his two children. Got it. What? Well, you didn't. And That's right. Well, yeah. By the way, that was a five dollar question. Oh. What is the Italian egg drop soup with spinach called? Got it. Yeah. Stracciatella. <laughs> what city is the biggest little city in the world? I got it. I got it. Yeah. Reno. Reno, Nevada. Is right. Five dollars. Okay, how about you, sir? Did you name a subject yet? Yeah. You do, did? Do math, though. Math? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I gotta say something. It takes a lot to get booed at my show. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually feel my whole show. <laughs> you wanna tell him? Canaletto. Canaletto. Of course! That's what it's Give a round of applause for being brave. Name a football player who won Dancing with the Stars. Oh, There's I got it. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward. Yeah, from Pittsburgh. We're up to $10, folks. Yeah.
What famous rock musician said he snorted his father's ashes? Got it. I got it. Keith Richards. Keith Richards. Keith Richards. So I'm just going to do one more question for $20. Okay? Can somebody please translate this phrase? Amor vincit omnia. Love conquers all. Love conquers all. I like, I like to end with that because love really does conquer all. And I'd like to wish you all a lot of love in your life. Thanks for coming and spending a little time with me and for playing along. Have a great night. This was a total surprise, and it was a lot of fun. He was so adept at having a question to pull right out of his butt for any topic. I can't believe how uh, much much he knows. I mean, it's pretty impressive. He just throws this stuff out there, any subject. I thought it was fabulous. I thought the uh, Gene was a really good host, and uh, the questions were challenging but good. I liked it. I think he did a wonderful job. He really interacted with the audience. I really liked how he got the crowd all going, and it was really fun, and it was funny. To, and it was, yeah, I learned, too, so it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We didn't know what to expect when we came here. Very, just very different evening, so it was, it was fantastic. No, it was amazing. I would say it's unique. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It was great. It was a good show. Had a great time. A lot of tough questions. I enjoyed it, and I'll do it again. This would be a great thing to have a group of friends and do something like this. A lot of fun. Come on! Give me a 